Kranhanda, our Kreisa Kinesahigid. Good afternoon and a warm welcome to you all. Normally, pilgrims' prayers are said every Friday at noon from the shrine at St David's. We don't know where exactly in the valley St David lived and came close to God in prayer. But since the 14th century, this shrine, beautifully restored nearly 10 years ago, has been the place where pilgrims have focused their prayers to David's God and ours. Usually these prayers are met, led by members of the chapter, the senior clergy of the diocese, who come and said stay at St David's for two to three weeks every year. Instead, we are leading these prayers from our homes and from around the diocese. And this afternoon, our pilgrims' prayers come from Haverford West. We begin with the collect, the special prayer for St David. Brethren, let us pray. God, our Father, you gave St David to the people of Wales to uphold the faith. Encouraged by his example, may we joyfully hold fast to the things which lead to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be all honour and glory now and for ever. Amen. Last Sunday, one of our readings was taken from the book of Genesis, which uh, some see as the uh, book of creation um, and the very early days of the earth. But we heard the story of Noah and his ark, the animals going on two by two, the building of a great boat. And finally, Noah and his family um, taking residence on the ark for days and days as the storms raged and the waters rose and the earth was covered and washed clean. Noah sent out a raven to see if the water was receding, but no sight of land. He sent out a dove and finally the dove returned within its beak a piece of olive branch, which gave Noah and his family hope, knowing that the time was coming when the water would uh, be washed away and that they would once again be able to populate the land with the animals and with his family. The sign that was given to Noah was the sign of the bow. God agreed with him that never again would he wash clean the earth, never again would he do what he did. And this week and in the weeks that have built up to us coming together for Pilgrim's Prayer today, I've noticed online, through our online communities, um, in the windows of houses across the street here where I live, the sign of the rainbow. But this time it being a sign of hope of not freedom, but certainly a sign of the love and the support of all those key workers who continue to uphold us in these very difficult times. And so perhaps also then a sign of hope, a hope for a future that is unsure, but is filled with God guiding us. Pilgrim or pilgrimage. Pilgrimage brings to mind movement, the footsteps of one person who has faith from one place to another. But for those of us who are pilgrims, followers of Christ, those who, of us who walk in his ways, we say that our life is about journeying. And in order to journey with God, you don't have to move physically from one location to another. You quite simply have to offer your life to him, praying to him reading and studying the scriptures, following a life in accordance to the will and the commandments of his son to love one another. And so for me, I can continue to pilgrimage through these weeks ahead. And through my pilgrimage, I can be brought spiritually closer to God without having to leave the confines of my home here in Haverford West. I can close my eyes and spiritually I can travel across the miles to St David's. Or I can be in the Church of the Resurrection in the Holy Land. I could even be in Cardiff Castle. My mind and the memories of the places that I've travelled to allowing me to travel there once more, knowing that God is my companion. And so friends, in these difficult times, hold on to the hope 
that that rainbow signifies as you see it through social media and in the houses uh, and in the shops as you make your way out for your daily walk or indeed to do your weekly shop. Hold on to that hope and know that every day if you offer your life to him, you will pilgrims be. You will travel arm in arm, side by side with our Lord. Let us pray. Today, we pray for ourselves, for those on our hearts and minds, for the people of the world, especially those infected or affected by the pandemic. For all who work in health and social care. For all the key workers who are keeping our country alive and going. We pray for God's loving comfort and companionship, God's guidance and encouragement for us all wherever life's pilgrim journey has brought us up until now. Lord Jesus Christ and David's Saviour and ours, you are the way, the truth and the life. Be our way. Give us grace to follow your lead, courage to persevere when the going is tough and when we stumble. Let us not be afraid to take hold of your outstretched hand as you offer us a fresh start. Lord, be our truth. Give us wisdom so we may know how to walk in the paths of honesty and integrity. Lord, be our life. Receive us when we falter. Refresh us when we tire. And bring us to share in your risen life, now and for all eternity. Amen. And so we say together the words that Jesus Christ himself has taught us in the language of our hearts. And today I pray the Lord's Prayer in Welsh. Ein tad, Sancte de Erdorenu, Della de Dernas, Gunella de Ruithis, Megis Ananea, Vetliara Vayer Hevid, Dero ini in Heviu in Barabinadio, Amava ini in Deledian, Velamadeo Ninai in Deledwir, Aknakarwa ini Brovetigaith, Ethe Guared ni Radru, Canasido to Udernas Agathi Argogonant, and Ois Oisoid. Amen. Almighty God, awaken in us the zeal of your servant David, that we may joyfully follow you in singleness of heart, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the road rise to meet you, may the wind be ever at your back, may the sunshine warm upon your face and the rains fall soft upon your field, and until we are together again, May God hold you in the palm of his hand and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this day and forevermore. Amen. The peace of God go with you this day, wherever you may be.